What is up my bodyweight warriors? Welcome back to another video. Starting off the day a little bit differently and we're baking some bread. It's a little side project that I've been working on for like the last four weeks maybe. Trying to build a sourdough starter, trying to attempt to make a sourdough loaf. And this is like my third one now and it actually looks pretty good. So we'll see. I thought I'd mention this simply because you probably know that I've been grain free pretty much apart from rice for like the past two years. Um, but you should always be open to every idea and try anything and never be afraid to throw anything out that no longer serves you and get rid of dogma. So I thought I've had this dogma that I'm grain free for the past two years. So screw it, why don't I try introduce more? So I've been trying to make sourdough bread and I've been having some soaked oats and I feel pretty awesome. Anyway, I think the loaf is about to be finished. So let's go see how it looks. And the work me up. <laughs> it actually freaking worked. So happy. This has literally taken me like four weeks to actually get a loaf that I can eat later on. Now it's time to actually get ready and do something with today. The weight is finally dropping. Sometimes I've been thinking, I'm thinking, I'm what to make of me and my memories. Sometimes I've been thinking, I'm dreaming, I'm what I could have been. So pretty quick and simple breakfast. Got a little small bit, because I couldn't resist, of that sourdough loaf. Almond and coconut butter, smashed avocado with salt, pepper, lime juice on top. By the way, it sounds weird, but it's really freaking good. Then three eggs, raw cheese, purple sprouting, all just fried up pretty quickly. So as always, we got a good amount of protein, a lot of fat, a lot of good fat, and a tiny amount of carbs, maybe like 20 grams. So to update you on how the cutting is going, you saw me weigh myself just before I made breakfast. I was 89 and a half kilos basically, uh, which is kind of half a kilo down from where I was last week. I started at 90, dropped down, went back up to like 91 after a little switch. And now, as I said, I knew my weight would kind of fluctuate a bit. And now it's kind of finding that steady thing and I'm back into a little bit of a deficit and cutting again. So. We're finally living up to the name of this series, but it's definitely working. I mean, the other day, I think Sunday was my deload day and I was in the gym testing the planche and it was actually like one of my biggest jumps that I've made in recent training with the planche hold. I think I got like a two or three second, like pretty solid pike straddle hold up. Whack it up as I'm talking. That has really driven me. I'm feeling really strong. Training's going well, eating's going well, weight is shifting, so hopefully, everything will come together. But time to eat breakfast and actually get on with some work. That crunch. I don't know what it is, but every time I've been vlogging lately, the weather is really freaking beautiful. Although it's a little bit colder today. It's now 1.30, been working for the past like three hours on my dissertation because actually due next week um, but the good news about that is I will have a little bit more time to start making some more tutorials back on this channel and really producing some awesome content for you guys so stay tuned this summer but now I'm feeling quite hungry and I kind of just want to eat some food because I'm kind of bored as well um, and probably also drink some coffee so for lunch we're gonna be having some of these bad boys sardines they are 50 pence a can 20 grams of protein, 20 grams ish of fat, loads of omega 3s, bloody awesome. And probably we'll be having some of this delicious home cooked bread. I wouldn't usually encourage like having grains at every single meal or like eating it on a regular basis, but simply because I baked it today, I just really want to enjoy it. A simple five minute lunch there. I basically got some sardines 
with garlic, tomato, lemon juice and parsley just tossed up together and I was going to have like a whole slice of bread but then I chopped it too thick so anyway and then roasted veg on the side for some extra carbs. I'm also going to have a cappuccino and some dark chocolate so that is included in the macros for this meal. More to come. I have to wear these like clunky ass work boots for workshop work. Look at these things. They're mahoosive. Finally finished up with sanding some 3D printed parts for my like final year project. Actually it's just painful to do. Um, now I'm gonna head over to the gym, time to train. Usual pre-workout shake I'll put in the description down below. But let's get to the work. bring you something a little bit different today when it comes to the commentary and I want to talk to you about the topic of today's video as well as something that's been on my mind recently when it comes to training and that is the importance of patience and the importance of enjoying the process. This is very much inspired by my man Gary V who if you don't know is a YouTuber but also a serial entrepreneur, very inspirational guy, really knows his shit but what he preaches a lot about patience and process, I think really applies to body weight movements. When you want to learn the handstand, you want to learn plant, you want to learn front leap, but all of these skills, all of these body weight movements, you can't fake it until you make it. You, they take years and years to develop these skills. It's not something that's acquired overnight. Something might take less time for somebody who is more genetically gifted than somebody who is not. For me, for example, being 192 centimeters and almost 90 kilos doing the planche, I don't think I've actually seen anyone at that height or close to that weight who was actually able to do the planche. The closest people would be somebody like Roy Gold, who's part of Guido's camp, uh, who I think is close to my height, but definitely not as tall as me. And then probably Daniel Badnell from Fitness FAQs. He's uh, maybe 10 centimeters shorter and a little bit lighter. So I think, I've definitely got some challenges ahead of me uh, when it comes to the plant. It's been three years so far in the making of trying to achieve the plant and attain this skill. But it doesn't mean I'm not fulfilled and I'm not enjoying what I'm doing just because I haven't reached that end goal. And this is where enjoying the process comes in. Ultimately, the majority of the time that you spend training will be in the pursuit of achieving a goal. The actual achievement of a goal is probably the minimal amount of time that you spend doing this training. You've got to enjoy what you do on a day-to-day -day session. You've got to enjoy that day in, day out grind to achieve those goals. Not because you want to achieve the goals, but because you love the training that you're doing. And that's what's really essential. If you want success in bodyweight training, I think generally in life, if you want success, you've got to just enjoy that grind, enjoy the process, enjoy what you're doing and then you'll find it easy to put that time and then focus and energy and the results will come, I'm sure, eventually, regardless of your genetic predisposition. If you work hard and you're consistent and you put in the time and the patience, then you'll get your goal. So for me, three years, the planche is feeling achievable, but it's not there. Maybe another year, it may be another three years until I actually get it, but it doesn't matter because I'm enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. Jumping back into the actual workout that you're watching, I'm on a little bit more of a low intensity but higher volume session. So I'm kind of working more in the eight to 10 rep range um, and a little bit lower number of sets and a little bit lower rest time. It's kind of a nice pumpy session, 
Uh, nice to work lower intensity movements, take a little bit of pressure off the joints, get a bit more blood flow in there. Starting from the top, we're building some foundations with the tuck flange holds, pairing that with that solid mantle chin up, which is just kind of another foundational movement for the one arm chin. We then moved on to some elevated deep range of motion hike push ups, a really good foundation exercise for the handstand push up. That was paired with some front lever pulls, which is for me more of a maintenance exercise. Uh, it's nice to add some range of motion into the front lever instead of just a static hold. Then we moved on to some weighted dips, but today I was focusing around having the weight on my neck because that's going to load more of those shoulders and kind of hopefully give a little bit more transfer over into the punch. And then finally, we move on to the exercise you're watching now, which is the archer row. And that again is just a nice one arm chin transfer uh, exercise, but again, it's that at lower intensity, gonna take a bit more stress off those elbows. Finally finished up with some specific mobility stuff focused around the obliques and the side splits, and then finished up with my full body mobility routine, which I'll link in the description down below. So that is it for the training, back to the vlog. So kind of now got the usual post-workout meal. It's that sheep yogurt, cinnamon, maca powder. The only reason I have cinnamon every time is because it blends pretty well with the maca and like mellows out. And then banana dates for that sugar, honey as well, whey protein. So we've got a nice high glycemic, good amount of protein meal straight in after that workout. Gonna eat this, reply to some YouTube comments, reply to the Facebook group, which if you're not joined, you know where it is in the description down below and I'll catch up with you when we make that next meal. And that is it, the final meal. The chili that I made yesterday was a little bit runny, so I just kind of like mixed it all up in there. It may not look the best, but it definitely tastes really good when you just like throw it all in and mix it all together. Very simple, again, nice easy meal. Leftovers are the king when you have work to make a big chili at the beginning of the week. That's every single night. May get a little bit boring, I guess, but five meals easily. All prepared for you, it takes 10 minutes to prepare. So that is it for the day. Pretty standard, solid training session. Back to some more lower intensity, but higher rep work. And also back onto the bread. I will let you know how that experiment goes. Really enjoying it. Feeling good with more carbs, more calories. The body comp is changing slowly. I'm feeling leaner. Hopefully the same as goes for your training where you are. I hope your training's going well and I hope you're getting some value from these videos that you can take into your own practice. If you did enjoy this video, then hit that thumbs up and support the channel. If you have a question to ask or an opinion that you wanna leave, do it in the comment section down below or join the Facebook group and ask your questions away there. If you want to share this video with a friend, I'd really appreciate that. But that has been it for today, guys. Have a strong week and peace.